2.3 Multiply and Divide Fractions Multiply with Variables With exponents on variables it may help to expand them. And remember repeated multiplication is done with exponents. These are the two things you need to keep in mind when dealing with multiplication when we have variables involved. In our first example here, first thing that we want to take a look at is our numbers. Remember we always want to reduce before we multiply. So I look, 6 and 3 have a common factor of 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 7 and 14 have a common factor of 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. Now let's look at our variables. I have an x squared on top and an x on the bottom. That means I have two x's on top, one down below. That means that I'm going to be left with one on top. We have no y's in the denominator so we'll be just multiplying those. It means the only thing we have left in the denominator is a one so we can ignore that. So we have two times two which should be four and y Oops, sorry, we got, don't forget the x. And then y times y, which would give us y squared, and we're done. In example two, again, I want to look for common factors. I notice that I have a three. Three divided by three is one. Thirty divided by three is ten. 10 and 10 have a common factor. I'll pull that out. Okay. And let's see. We have 1B on top, 2 down below. That means I'm going to be left with 1B down below. And now so you've got two A's up top, looks like that's going to be it. So we have 1 times 21 which gives us 21. A times A which gives us A squared. And then we have 1B down below. So our answer is going to be all over B. Now remember when you are entering this into the computer we enter example 2 in the computer using parentheses. We have 21. We'd have an A. We would use the caret. Then 2. Do a parenthesis, division bar, and B. For our first answer here, we would enter it in as strictly 4, X, Y. We'd use the caret. Then 2. Um, keep in mind that you should be using your preview button. It will help you make sure that you um, it will, will help you check to see if you've entered anything in incorrectly.